What's up, everybody? So, the moment that you guys have been waiting for, so many of you guys have messaged me and asked me about the S3. Well, without further ado, and of course it goes to my pin. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I did the review first time, and quite honestly, the review was okay, but the sound quality wasn't the greatest, and I also wasn't using a stand. A few of you guys have suggested actually using a stand with these so you can actually see on the screen. So, having said that, that's what I'm going to do here. But remember guys, this review is comparable, or I should say is comparing the S3 to the Pebble. And that's sort of what I'm used to. So this, re this review is going to be, stay tuned to the end because you actually may be surprised on this one. So. Let's see, no notes. I have zero notes. You can get out of here, because I have zero notes on this one. Um, first thing I noticed is how heavy this thing is. I don't want to say heavy, it's, it, it's a solid feel. Whereas, which was a tick, not the tick watch, it was the, uh, the Vector. Sorry guys, there's so many watches here. The Vector, that was like a lead weight um, in my hand. Or on my wrist, I should say. It was it was very heavy. This is a solid feel to it, where it makes it, it... You know it's there, but you don't know it's there. It's really hard to explain. It just feels right. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. The weight is proportioned perfectly. Um, having said that, as you notice, the watch band that I have on here is not a standard watch band. Because we have... I, I'm just doing this on a stand. You know what? We're going to do this on a stand. So, let me go forward with other stuff here first. Sorry guys, second video with the stand still throwing me off a little bit. Um, so yeah, when you come back, you're going to see the stand. The power of edit, here you are. You are sitting here looking at this thing on the stand. So, what do we have? This is actually the watch face that I chose for this. As you can see, by up here, it's locked. Why is that? That's because Samsung Pay works on this watch, even though my phone is actually rooted. Because Samsung Pay is on the watch itself, not on the phone, it works. Since this device here is not rooted. So, now I need to go through and enter my PIN. So, let's do this. And no, you cannot see this part. And you can hear my stylus rolling all over. Okay, so we are unlocked. Typical dial like you guys have seen on the S2. Oops. All right, so. This here, you guys should be able to see everything as long as alerts don't come in. So, as you can see, I have zero notifications. We have the time, weather, and this all has actually been customizable. So here are my important contacts. This is the news, and like I said, when I click on this, I'll show that to you. You can just scroll through and say, I want to see this one. Just click on that. And this scroll dial works really well. You have your back button here, back, and we're back to here. Music, which does play through the phone, heart rate, reminder, events, steps. As you can see today, I really haven't done many steps. I need to get out there and do some stuff. Um, these are like quick apps that I have configured. You can add another widget. And there's tons of these. It's actually more than you could possibly really want. So, so say you're in one of these here. We'll just go into, uh, let's see, let's find something here. Something that was easy. All right, so we'll go in here. And I want to get back, um, all the way back to the home screen. You hit the bottom button. And there we are, we're back at the home screen. The top one does the back, that does the home screen. So, let's see here. Hold this down, goes to Samsung Pay, because it's not on my wrist, it will not work. Um, but if you hold that top one down, it does do Samsung Pay. So I'm gonna actually hit the back button here, 
and we're locked again. It does lock a lot. It does lock a lot. There we go. All right, so we're back to this again. So let's go scroll up. I'm sorry, so scrolling down, here's all of your settings that you can configure. Let's go back. Scrolling up does nothing on this screen. Scroll to the left, or to have to be to the right. Um, shows you the notifications. Brings you right back. So you're basically in that loop there. Um, you press the button, down button here, and here's all the apps. And we'll do this one, because I love this app, as you guys know. You can see how fast that went. So we're going to go back again. I hope you guys like this on the stand. It's a little different for me because I'm looking at it through a screen. Um, we'll do weather. Let's see what the weather is here. Oh, went the wrong way. So here, you can get an idea of the weather. Add another city. Phone, S voice. Let's see, we'll go into settings since we did that on the last video. Um, so as you can see here, we'll just go through and tons, if you guys notice, you, you guys are probably picking up a little bit here on what watch faces I like and the style. Again, my style might be different than you guys. And, you know, there's just tons of them. I mean... You know, so I mean... Tons and tons of settings to choose from as far as the styles go. Let's put that back. And obviously, if any of these, you know, the standard ones aren't your thing, there's tons of them to choose from. Display, you can make it brighter or lighter. Just showing you guys all these settings. So we'll go through Spotify, of course, is mine. Um, next page and again all of these are completely customizable for you to you know move around if you want you know say you want the news briefing which is an app that I have if I want that on the first page of my apps I can easily move it over there and then add more apps so here's a list of all your apps and quite honestly this dial the more I used it the more I really liked it so um having said that you know you can and yes you can tell that's <laughs> all right so i went to disney with uh my daughter and we ended up listening to frozen and there you go that's the last song <laughs> that i had on so anyway having said that all right so i'm going to flip over to front facing camera here so i can now do my recap of this So, by the power of editing, here we are. So let me do a recap of this watch. We did review the S2 together, as you guys remember, and you guys can watch that video if you like. But now we did the S3, and I want to really dig in on this review with you guys. It took me a little longer than I had liked to do, but I really, really felt like this watch deserved a better review then I don't want to say a better review than the others because I've done them up the same but I really wanted to try this harder and I actually sent back the original watch to Samsung and a buddy of mine had it and didn't like it went with the Apple watch yeah we'll just leave it with that so he said here you can try using this some more if you want and see what you think so I did and Every review that we've done together, you guys know, really didn't end well in the sense that it wouldn't replace my Pebble. And here's the shocking part. This has replaced my Pebble. Um, I still have the Pebble. I still love the Pebble. But I find myself reaching for this watch every morning instead of my Pebble. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the size of the watch, meaning, you know, and the look of the watch. I have to admit, this looks better than, and I don't have the, this doesn't have the band on it, this. Let's 
go back to the home screen. Where are we? Okay. I love my Pebble. You guys know that. So with me saying that to you, that this has replaced my Pebble, that's weird. I mean, it feels strange just to say it. Um, does that mean I'm getting rid of my Pebble? No, absolutely not. Um, so what is it that I like now with this more than this? One is the look. I mean, quite honestly, I, I know it's simple in the functionality, but you gotta admit, guys, this compared to this. You know, this looks like a toy now to me. I mean, I'm being honest with you guys. Look, you guys know how much I love the Pebble. I keep saying that. It looks like a toy. Um, it looks like something I'd give to my kid to play with, um, you know, to use and just to play around with, whereas this does not. Um, the other thing I really like on this is the dial. I absolutely love this functionality on this watch. This dial, it's, I, I find myself at times just trying to play around with it. Um, Samsung Pay, while I didn't think I would use it, I absolutely use it all the time. Everywhere I go, I was at Publix the other day. Um, I went to check out, and they have zero, like, you know, propaganda or whatever you want to call it about Apple Pay or Samsung Pay or Google Pay or anything. They have no markings. They don't even tell you they accept it. Um, I just said, you know what, just for the heck of it, I went into Samsung Pay in here, and instantly it went through and did the whole purchase process. Um, the woman at the hash register said, how did you just pay for that? And I said, my watch. She said, I've never seen anybody use it. Um, and it, it worked phenomenally fast. I mean, just, you know, you here in the U.S., we have the whole chip thing now that everyone's trying to switch to. You know, you put your chip in, you, you put your credit card in with the chip. And, you know, the process, while it has been a little bit faster, you're still, it's still a little bit on the sluggish side. Whereas with this, you hit the, you hold the button down as, as you know, the run through the last set of, you know, items on your conveyor belt there. Um, I have two different credit cards put into this. I hit the button on it. It says waiting. I literally take my wrist right over to where you would normally swipe your credit card. And like that, instantly, I just paid for my item. It's so fast and so easy that I try now not even to reach into my wallet to pull out a credit card. Um, I prefer using this. That's a major reason as to why I'm switching to this and now more as a more of a full-time watch than this. The other thing that I like on this is all the different watch faces. So if I go out to eat at a nicer restaurant, instead of McDonald's, I'll say, and I want a nicer looking watch face, hit the button, done. I have a now a nice, you know, sophisticated watch face. If I'm out for a run, all right, guys, if I'm out for a walk, um, I switch to that another watch face, I can now have my heart rate and my steps and things like that right on the watch face. It's, I know this sounds so strange, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think I would ever really come to this conclusion, but battery life on this is also, while it's not as good as this, it's nowhere near as good as this, I still have now grown accustomed to or, you know, charging all my watches at night. Um, so I'm sort of used to that. And I want to do a recap at the end of all these videos. I'm waiting for Android Wear 2.0 um, before I do that because I really want to try Android Wear 2.0. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, so, you know, I don't know, it, it works. The voice dictation works as well, very well. I hit, you know, I get an alert. I hit a button that says reply. I can, I literally just talk to my watch. I can reply. Um, another neat thing, which I know Apple Watch has this too, and um, I, I do it to my son a lot because it annoys him <laughs> at times, which he's now doing my editing here. But anyway, I'll write him a message on, with my finger on here and like, hi, as he's in school or something like that, and he'll get it. And of course, it's just something to break up the day, but it is, <laughs> it's neat to do it and to, to actually do a handwriting picture. Um, so there's things like that that are nice. Um, I find myself, um, let's see what else was, no, I gotta put the, sorry, put the password in here. Um, you know, which some of these things, guys, keep in mind, some of these things you can do on here, um, like music-wise, you know, to choose your next and previous. 
songs, yes, it, it works very well on the Pebble. It also works on here. Um, the news on here, I, I think you can get news. There's nothing I really ever looked at because trying to read the news on this was a little more difficult. Whereas with this, you know, it literally, you know, right there. And you have your news. Um, and a lot of these things, keep in mind, I know you can do some of these things with the Pebble, and now I'm going to be defending this over the Pebble, I guess. But no, the reality is, the question was, can I replace this with this? And the answer is yes. Um, simple answer, it's yes. Um, I mean, as you can see, the band on here is the band that I had on this. So, yeah. Oh, and this also does have, you know, touch that to turn the screen off. Um, the issue I had with the first one, which was how bright it was, I'm not sure if I've grown used to it or if they've done something differently in this. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Um, but I do not notice it now if I'm driving at night. I don't notice the watch. Um, you know, as far as me lifting it up to see the time with the always on display, I always see it. So I don't even worry about the whole, you know, lifting up my arm or anything. Uh, that was the big issue I always had with some of these other watches. So does this mean that we are done with watch reviews? No, nowhere near it. Um, the price on this, that's the issue. Um, if I had to throw one negative of this watch, and that's the price. Um, I think it's $349. You might be able to get them $299. I, I don't remember. Um, you know, but I do think it's a very expensive watch. And I think that's the negative of this watch. Whereas, you know, this, you know what, sometimes we, you, find, you would see them here for $99. Um, on Amazon now, of course, they're going up a little bit because of low supply. Um, you know, laws of supply and demand, I guess. But anyway, having said that, you know, 100 bucks, $120 for this watch versus $299 to what 349 sometimes uh that is a huge price difference i will say so if i have to draw anything negative of this watch it is the price um but if you were looking at a watch and saying you know what i don't really care i just want the best watch i can get um i really do feel that this is the best watch that's out there right now that i've reviewed right now this is the best watch um, so all you Samsung haters, leave some comments, guys, because I'm sure you're out there. But keep in mind, I'm rocking this with the Edge. Wow, look at all those fingerprints. Um, you know, with the 7 Edge, 7, yeah, the 7 Edge, the S7 Edge. So it pairs well. Maybe that's why. I mean, I don't know if I would try using it on the Apple. Um, but anyway, guys, all right, so listen, I'm wrapping it up. So yes, I personally, I have found a replacement to this. Does that mean this is all I'm going to be using? No, because it's not mine. It's my friend's. I need to give it back to him, which means I'll still be rocking on this. Um, I really don't want to spend the 349 on this watch. If it drops down to like 250 then I probably would go for it, but not at 349 But again, it still would replace my Pebble if I did it, so... Take that answer as it's confusing, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, sorry guys, it's a confusing way to answer the question, but it's a yes if, if money is no object. If you're looking at a watch and going, I really don't want to spend a ton of money, then no, the Pebble's the one to go with. So I think I'm leaving it as confusing as it sounds to me. So, <laughs> all right, guys, as always, check me out on Twitter. Um, you know, check me on Twitter. Follow me, obviously, on here. Subscribe. Um, check out my personal site, morganelli.com, where I'm going to attempt, and probably this will be one of the first ones, where you can see the review a day before. I actually publish it on YouTube. Um, not for any reason. It's going to be on YouTube, but I can actually link to it through my personal site, which I'm going to do. So, oh, all right, guys. Um... Stay tuned for the next reviews. I got more coming here with more watches. I do have a closing video coming up eventually on watch reviews. Um, again, it doesn't mean that we're done on watch reviews. It just means that this chapter of watch reviews will be over. Um, and then we move on to the next chapter. Um, so be good to yourself and each other. Peace.
What's going on guys? So, this is actually a quick update to the um, Samsung S3 review that you guys just watched. So this is actually being added to the end of the video. After I got done on the watch, um, with the watch review, I gave it back to my friend, started wearing my Pebble, and even after one day, um, it felt like a warm blanket um, on a cold night. Um, hopefully you guys like that analogy, but the reality is, yeah, I, well, I think this, which I still have it, I have to give it back to him yet, but while I think that this is a great replacement to the Pebble, if this for some reason were to die, I'm not about to give up my Pebble yet. Um, you know, so the quest still continues, I guess. Um, you know, I want to check out, as I mentioned before, the um, <clears throat> Android Wear 2.0, but the reality is I did want to give another update to this and just let you guys know that, you know, yeah, no, while it is a replacement, um, and if this broke, I would absolutely look at this watch, but again, on price, based on price. Um, but until this breaks, you know, or Fitbit decides to kill those servers, uh, sorry guys, not giving up the Pebble, it's just not enough to do it. Um, you know, it's the simplicity of this watch, still, it overdoes this. Even though I enjoy Samsung Pay a lot on this, with this, just being so simple. So, anyway guys, see yous.